Guys, welcome back to Alternative Inverts. So, as you will have seen from our last video, um, our OBT female, we found mites. Um, it was quite bad all on her chelicera, uh, or however it's pronounced, sorry for my pronunciation. Um, basically a fang area and a mouth area. Uh, and the mites were um, stuck onto her fangs and, and it was quite bad. Um, I did, as I said, I needed to check my other enclosures, so I checked five enclosures around the OBTs where it was kept on the shelf, cleaned all the shelf off as well. We used the same spray that we use for our vivariums when we're cleaning them out for our snakes and stuff. Checked all the other enclosures, so we checked our, um, there was other old, old worlds, couldn't see any on the glass of the tanks. Um, we got the spiders out of the other enclosures and put them into catch cups and then I checked their mouth area um, from the side of the catch cup basically uh, and luckily none of the other spiders had any mites on them so we had to check a lot of old world spiders we had to check uh, Ornithoctonus uh, utithani we had to check uh, uh, Cyriopagopus uh, schmitti uh, gold adult female um, we had to check uh, do, 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 do. Pamphobetus esmeraldas and a few others as well underneath like the um, Marshalli, the Libidus green femur and also one of our uh, Panay blues. Uh, luckily none of the others had any moats so that's great news. Now with the OBT um, I did manage to get her into catch cup so I got her into a catch cup and I cleaned off her fangs with um, some of these so this is what we use in America I think you guys call them q-tips over here we just call them like cotton buds um, which is what you'd normally use to clean like your ears and we used some like Vaseline put it onto the end of it and made sure we we got them off um, so the Vaseline basically helps because when you're wiping the mouth area it sort of sticks the mites to the cotton bud um, and we got them all off. I did then put the OBT into quarantine. So as you can see, I've brought it back in there. We kept it dry. Um, so we kept it just on some dry tissue in a tub. And as you can see now from her mouth area, if I can just get that to focus, there is no, no mites on her at all. Um, it has been left, um, so I'm just doing an update. Ooh, I'm just doing an update from after we've kept her in quarantine as well. There are no mites left. There are no mites left um, that have been on the plastic tub because obviously they'd be looking for something, uh, some moisture. So you'd see them travelling around on the tub or something, and there's there's absolutely nothing there at all, um, which is good news. So hopefully they have completely gone they've not managed to spread to any other enclosures it wasn't an easy task obviously um, getting the mites from her I used a technique that was sort of given to me by um, someone with a lot more experience than myself they advised that a way to do it is you can put because obviously getting mites off an OBT and as you've seen from the previous video OBTs are quite defensive um, they can be quite aggy, throwing up fret postures and they'll also slap to try and bite rather than just run away. They do stand their ground. Um, and even for, for some of like the more experienced keepers who have been, you know, who, who are capturing or, or, or looking at these spiders out in the wild, um, or the spider monks, it, it can prove quite difficult to remove mites. So, uh, we used a technique where we actually put her under so she was pretty much out cold um, not going to go into too much detail on just because I only did it because I felt comfortable after I was told the technique um, and thought that I'd be able to pull it off safely I wouldn't want to say it too much because if there is anybody obviously watching the video with not as much experience or who sort of just goes for it and doesn't know how much to use or how to do the process correctly it could be quite detrimental to the spider or to the person who's doing it as well the last thing I want to do is tell somebody how to do something which results in one their spider either dying or two them getting bitten so 
I'm not going to go too much into detail, but basically we put the spider under um, and then she was on her back, which then gave me around five minutes to clean her fangs without there being any risk of me being tagged at all. Um, after five minutes, the uh, maybe a little bit longer, maybe about ten minutes, the spider came back round and was moving around normal. She's perfectly fine. As you can see in her tub, she's quite... Well, she's on the side of the enclosure, she's fine. Um, and then we left her in quarantine for uh, around a week and she's going to be going back into her enclosure up on the top shelf now. Uh, now we know that there's no more mites there and none of the other surrounding enclosures have mites either. First time I've ever had to do it, but the guidance that I had, and I don't want to give out names, but the person, if they are watching, they know who they are. Thank you for the information. Um, the, the the way that you told me to do it, it worked perfectly. Um, it gave me the good a good time scale to sort of make sure that those mites were cleaned um, and all of them were, were gotten. I couldn't miss any. Um, so massive, massive thank you to you if you are watching. Uh, also, just like to say thank you to Amy from Pet Rock and Roll. Um, so obviously it was the first time doing it, I was quite nervous. Um, Amy jumped on a call with me and sort of sat with me uh, just as for like moral support really whilst I was I was doing um, while I was doing it and getting the mites off. We went to the enclosure and then we will also give another quick update uh, for something else afterwards. So put her back into her home and get her back on the shelf where she belongs. Now we know she's nice and safe. She's back in her enclosure. So guys, that was the update for the OBT. Um, she's now back in her enclosure all safe and sound. I will be constantly checking on her again anyway. I'll probably leave it another week, maybe get her back out into a catch cup. Um, check on her again, make sure nothing's come back, she hasn't got anything else. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad that she's okay. Um, she was one of the first three spiders that I bought and I've raised her from a tiny, tiny sling. Um, so I was gonna do whatever necessary to um, make sure that she, no harm comes to her, uh, should I say. Obviously, with mites, some mites aren't dangerous to your tarantulas. Um, however, some are. Uh, if they're parasitic mites, then um, it, they, they, and they get inside your, your tarantula's mouth or the harvesting around the mouth and breeding, that's not good. If they travel to other enclosures, that's not good as well. That can also cause stress to your tarantula, which may um, stop them from uh, eating. It may stop them from drinking and, and make them become lethargic. And you could lose your spider. Um, so it's what, whatever you need to do before the spread through your collection, you need to do. Um, I made sure that the safety of my animal was there first and I'd rather me do everything within my power to make sure that she's okay and get rid of those mites um, otherwise if anything did happen and she did pass away and she did die um, and I did nothing I'd be um, gutted and I'd hold myself to blame so another update we have been sent a spider from uh, none other than Danny Damon over at Keeper Cards 
Um, Danny has kindly sent us his mature male, uh, Ceratogyrus marshalli. So we've kept the marshalli inside this in little tub, put a bit of the female's web in there, and I've also left this within my marshalli uh, enclosure. So there will be a pairing attempt video uh, coming out soon, so make sure you watch this space and also later on this week we will have the 2k giveaway um, video and how to enter. As you may have seen if you have joined any of our live streams since our last OBT video, we do also have a new member of the family, so as part of that giveaway video there will also be some footage of the new member of our family and um, yeah, she bloody beautiful a lot of you may know already from watching live streams or the TTSNT uh, stream but those who don't keep an eye out for it because you've never seen anything so cute in your life I'm, I'm telling you it's she's absolutely gorgeous um, but yeah that's it guys sorry that the video isn't the greatest I didn't want to put too much um, footage in there for you that one could um, try and cause other people to do something that they don't feel comfortable with, put their spider at risk, put themselves at risk. Um, I feel as a person on, I suppose, a public figure on YouTube, it's my responsibility um, to make sure that you guys are safe and that you're not doing anything beyond your means. I had the correct advice and I wouldn't have done it if I didn't feel comfortable to do it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're uh, happy with the update put a little bit of footage in there where I was cleaning the fangs off but hey we got to that state I'm not going to show and make sure you look after yourselves guys and we'll catch you later in the week for our next video peace out one love bye bye